What if the sun, the very thing we are told to fear, is actually the key to unlocking better health, a sharper brain, and a longer life? In a bold conversation hosted by Stephen Bartlett on The Diary of a CEO, Dr. Roger Scheult makes a shocking claim. The world has been lied to about sunlight, and in this episode, he breaks down exactly why. With insights from cutting-edge science and real hospital experiences, Dr. Scheult lays out 10 powerful takeaways that could change the way you think about health forever. Let's dive into the 10 surprising truths that your doctor probably never told you. Takeaway 1. The Big Lie About Sunlight We have been trained to believe that sunlight is dangerous, that we must hide from it, and that all we really need is a vitamin D pill. Dr. Roger Scheult says that idea is not only misleading but potentially harmful. Sunlight does far more than just help your body produce vitamin D. It contains something even more powerful, which is infrared light. This type of light goes deep into your skin and body tissues. It does not just touch the surface. It reaches your cells and activates the mitochondria inside them. These mitochondria are like the engines that run every part of your body. When infrared light hits them, they become more efficient and produce more energy with less waste. That waste, known as oxidative stress, is what often leads to diseases like dementia, diabetes, and heart problems. Here is the shocking part. Your body also makes melatonin inside the cells, not just in the brain. But this internal melatonin only gets triggered by sunlight, especially by infrared light. And this version of melatonin protects your cells from damage and aging. Supplements cannot do this. That is why even though people with high vitamin D levels did better during COVID, taking vitamin D pills in the hospital had almost no effect. What really helped people survive was the actual sunlight. This shows that the sunlight itself, not just vitamin D, was the true healing power. You are not just missing a vitamin when you stay indoors. You are missing a full-body healing system. Takeaway 2. Supplements are not enough. Vitamin D pills are everywhere. They are cheap, easy, and we are told they are the perfect backup for those who don't get much sun. But the results from real patients tell a different story. Dr. Scholt explains that during the early days of COVID, patients with higher vitamin D levels had a better chance of surviving. But when hospitals gave those patients supplements, the results were disappointing. People weren't getting better just from the pills. That led to a new understanding. The high vitamin D levels weren't what saved people. It was just a sign that they had been spending more time in the sun. It was the full spectrum of natural sunlight, especially the infrared part, that made the difference. That light was entering their body, helping the mitochondria work better, lowering inflammation, and boosting their immunity. The vitamin D was just a marker. It was not the hero. So if you are popping vitamin D supplements but staying inside all day, you are missing the real source of healing. Takeaway 3. Sunlight can protect your brain. Your brain uses a lot of energy, and it depends on healthy mitochondria to work properly. When these powerhouses inside your brain cells slow down or break, things start to fall apart. That is when memory fades, focus gets weaker, and diseases like dementia start creeping in. Dr. Scheult explains that infrared light from the sun enters the body, and helps reduce the stress on these mitochondria. It acts like a cooling system, making sure the brain's engines don't overheat. He shares the story of a 15-year-old boy who was dying from a deadly infection. Nothing was working. Doctors had given up. But when they moved him outside into the sunlight, things started to change. His white blood cell count improved. His oxygen needs dropped. Within days, he was off the machines and on the road to recovery. Sunlight had done what powerful medicines couldn't, and that same light, especially the deep penetrating infrared, can help protect your brain from aging too fast. We're about to dive into the most exciting part of this video. If you're enjoying it, hit the thumbs up below and share this video in your WhatsApp groups. It really helps us keep making great content. Don't forget to leave a comment and hit subscribe for more. Now let's continue with the video. Takeaway 4. Sunlight impacts every organ. Imagine your body as a chain with many links. Each link is one of your organs like your heart, lungs, kidneys, or brain. 
As you age, some of those links get weaker. Disease starts when one of those links finally breaks. Dr. Scheult explains that the health of those links depends a lot on how well your mitochondria are working, and that depends heavily on the light you are exposed to. Infrared light from the sun helps your mitochondria stay efficient. It gives them energy while reducing the damage they usually take over time. This is why people who avoid the sun often deal with more health problems. They are starving their cells of the light that keeps those tiny power plants running. Whether it's your liver getting fatty, your brain fogging up, or your heart weakening, it often starts with the mitochondria running out of fuel. Sunlight is like the power cord for every part of your body. Takeaway 5. Red light can heal deeply. If you live in a dark place or spend your days inside, there is still hope. Red and infrared light devices can help. These are the kinds of lights used in therapy masks and infrared saunas. Dr. Scheult says they are not just trendy wellness toys. They are based on real science. Studies show that shining red light on your back can help your body process sugar better, which is good for people with diabetes or energy issues. It even improves vision when used on the eyes, especially in the morning. That is because the back of your eyes is packed with mitochondria. One experiment found that just 15 minutes of red light helped the mitochondria work better and made people see colors more clearly. These devices work best when used in short sessions, and the effect stays for hours. If you cannot get outside much, using red light therapy is a solid backup to boost your energy and support your health. Takeaway 6. Poor lighting hurts your health. The lights we live under today are very different from the ones we evolved with. Candlelight, sunlight, and fire gave off a full range of colors, including the helpful red and infrared light. But today's LED and fluorescent lights give mostly blue light. Dr. Scheult explains that this is a big problem. Our bodies never evolved to be bathed in blue light without the rest of the light spectrum. It messes with our brains, our eyes, and even our mitochondria. In one study, switching from LED lights to old-fashioned incandescent bulbs helped people see better and reduced eye strain. Our eyes, especially the parts that help us see color, rely on healthy mitochondria. And those mitochondria get damaged when they are not exposed to full-spectrum light. So if you are living under harsh white lights all day and never stepping into the sun, you are slowly draining your energy and hurting your vision. Takeaway 7. Morning light sets your body clock. Your body has an internal clock that tells you when to sleep, when to eat, and when to feel alert. That clock depends on light, especially light that comes through your eyes in the morning. Dr. Scheult explains that getting sunlight early in the day helps your body stay on track. It tells your brain to start the day and helps release melatonin at night to make you sleepy. If you miss that morning light, your whole rhythm can go off. You might feel tired during the day and struggle to sleep at night. For people who live in dark places or work early shifts, special lamps called sad lights can help. These lights mimic natural sunlight and can be used for about 20 minutes in the morning to reset your brain. It is like tuning a broken watch. Without this reset, your body never fully knows what time it is supposed to be. Takeaway 8. Sunlight helps with sleep. Sleep is not just about what happens at night. It begins in the morning with light. When you expose your eyes to sunlight in the early part of the day, your body starts a timer. That timer tells your brain when to release melatonin later in the evening. Melatonin helps you feel sleepy and fall asleep faster. Dr. Scheult says that people who do not get natural light during the day often have trouble sleeping at night. Their body never gets the signal to produce melatonin at the right time. Looking at bright screens before bed only makes things worse. That blue light confuses the brain and tells it to stay awake. To improve your sleep, get sunlight in the morning, avoid screens in the evening, and make your bedroom as dark as possible at night. Think of it like setting the mood for your body to relax. We're about to hit the final takeaways from this video. If you're enjoying it, hit the thumbs up below and share this video in your WhatsApp groups. It really helps us keep making great content. Don't forget to leave a comment and hit subscribe for more. Now, let's continue with the video. Takeaway 9. 
The eight health pillars matter. Dr. Scheult shares a system called New Start. It stands for nutrition, exercise, water, sunlight, temperance, air, rest, and trust. These are the eight pillars of long and healthy life. Most people know about diet and fitness, but they forget the rest. Sunlight is one of the most powerful yet ignored pillars. Temperance means avoiding things like smoking, drinking too much alcohol, or using harmful drugs. Clean outdoor air boosts your immune system and helps you feel calm. Water helps both inside and outside your body, especially when used for things like cold plunges or saunas. Rest is not just about sleep, but also taking a break from screens, stress, and nonstop work. Trust is about having a sense of purpose or faith. All these things work together to keep every part of you strong. Ignoring even one of them can weaken the whole system. Takeaway 10. Faith and nature reduce stress. In the end, health is not just about the body. It is about the mind and soul, too. Dr. Scheult says that people who have faith in something bigger than themselves often handle stress better. They recover faster from illness and live with more peace. Science backs this up. People who spend more time in green spaces filled with trees also have lower levels of stress hormones and inflammation. In one study, just planting thousands of trees in a small city neighborhood led to big drops in heart disease and strokes. The people didn't change their diet or exercise. They simply lived near more trees. Nature has a healing power that goes beyond words. Faith, sunlight, and fresh air might be some of the most underrated medicines we have. What if everything we have been told about sunlight is only a tiny piece of the truth? Dr. Roger Scheult's insights challenge decades of conventional wisdom and invite us to look deeper into the light that touches our skin. The sun is not our enemy. It may be our most powerful ally. So before you reach for another pill, open a window, step outside, and ask yourself, what have I really been missing? You might just discover that the light they told you to fear is the very thing that can heal you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support this channel, hit the thanks button below. It really helps us keep going. If you enjoyed this summary, please leave a like and share it in your WhatsApp groups. To join discussion about this video, drop a comment below. And for more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below.